Yo, what is going on my people? Hopefully everyone's keeping well. So in today's video, I'm going to be speaking about or rather showing you what the change of character is. So I already have a video um, previously made, um, but I'm even going to make another updated one. Okay, so this is like a 2023 updated one. And in this one, I'm going to be much, much more clear with it. And I'm simply just going to show you how you would apply this to your everyday trading. Um, most likely you're looking up what a change of character is. So today, hopefully in a few minutes, I'm going to explain what a change of character is for you. Now, before we get started, make sure that you head down into the description down below and uh, get my order flow uh, ebook, which you can get for free to see how you can mix the change of character with order flow to come up with a killer killer strategy for yourself. So I'm going to get started and a chuck or CHOCH -C or change of character is simply going to be identification in market structure to let us know that the market is structurally shifting from bullish to bearish or bearish to bullish. Okay. So if I bring this right here and I start drawing my tool, as you understand, in order for the market to be bullish or in order for the market to be bearish, it has to form a series okay, of steps like this. So for example, if we are in a bullish structure, we should see a higher high being created, a pullback, higher high, a pullback, higher high, etc. When we look at a bearish market, we should see the market going lower low, okay, pullback, lower low, lower high, lower low. Okay, so, so this is what we should see. And this is bullish market structure. This is bearish. Now, what is a change of character? So the change of character is actually very, very simple. I'll show you what it is right now. So the change of character will look something like this, where the market comes up, clears this high, comes down, down, and then down. Okay, so this is for a bullish scenario. And I'll show you exactly how to inter interpret this in real life in a second and I'm going to show you the example for a bear scenario so I'm like this and this 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 okay so this is the bullish scenario and this is a bullish scenario and a change of character to the downside so the change of character here is basically signifying that price is switching from creating higher highs to eventually after pulling back it breaks the most recent, okay, it breaks the most recent low that we have right here. So the most recent higher low, it breaks it and then forming a lower low. But also upon the pullback, we don't break that previous high. This is a true change of character. This is what a true change of character looks like. A lot of people get the changes of character mixed up because they're picking the wrong low. And I'll show you how to pick the, the correct low in a second. Same, um, same right here. So in a bearish scenario. We have price creating lower lows, pull back, lower low. But here, instead of just pulling back and then reacting, okay, and just creating another lower low and failing to break above this high, we actually get price to actually break above the most recent lower high. And as you can see, when price tries to go back down and try to create a lower low, it doesn't. It fails to do that, giving us this higher low. And then once again, we get we, we switch structure. So we went from down to up. This is what a change of character is. Now, rules of change of character. If I go back, rules of a change of character. Let me go back here. What do I need to see? I need to see the previous high cleared right here. And then also the most recent lower, um, uh, higher low. And I need to make sure that price does not break above this high. These are the three things that you look for. Very, very important. So how do we go and apply this in the market? Very, very simple, guys. Okay, extremely, extremely simple. How do we identify this? What do I see here? I'm on a moment of time frame. I'll show you an example on every time frame. It's so easy. We see we have a lower low. Pullback, lower low. Okay, I'm going to say this is a lower low. And I'm just going to say this is the whole pullback. And I'm going to say lower low. So what do I have here? Price comes back up, comes back up. Up until this point, I'm still bearish. But price ends up clearing this low but also clears the most recent lower high, just like so. This right here for me is the change of character. Now it's confirmed because we try to go make another lower low, but we fail to do so. We end up creating another higher high. Now this is a confirmed structural shift to the upside. You see, let's go on the five minute time frame, pick anywhere random, and you will spot this, okay, in every single reversal. This is very, very important for reversal trading. Okay, extremely, extremely important. So we go up to any high, and we look at something like this. Okay. Look at the five minute time frame. So we have push up, pull back, push up, pull back, 
Now we have a push up and another pullback, push up. And look what happens. Price clears the most recent high right here and also clears the most recent low, um, higher low. So it clears that. Price comes back down, retraces back up into a point of interest and sells off. Now, in this video, I'm simply just showing you what a change of character is. I'm not interested in showing you how to enter. I'm not interested in showing you a, a certain strategy. I am simply showing you a market structure shift. This is a reversal. And this is how you confirm a reversal. You confirm it by waiting for a change of character. I'm going to show you an example on the 12 hour time frame. Here we're on US 30, right? I'm going to go switch to G GJ. Okay, actually not GJ, GU. Because GJ's structure recently is very, very bad. And I can't be arsed. I'm going through all the different um structures okay so what do we have right here very very simple once again look at price lower low pull back lower low pull back lower low pull back lower low price comes back up up until it reaches this high it should still be bearish once it breaks the most recent um lower high now as you can see this is a change of character but has not yet been confirmed until you wait does price break the slow phase to break the low and once again, tries to make a run the high, still doesn't. Makes a run the high, and boom. Now we have the confirmed change of character. And we can now start looking for buy setups. And every single pullback, we buy. Okay, every single pullback, we buy. Obviously, based on um, your confirmations, the confluences that you have. And that is simply it. Now, a change of character. I'm going to show you this just once. A change of character. You need to be able to make sure that your change of character is correct. This right here break of this low is not a change of character look you have a push up pull back push up pull back push up pull back push up this is the last high this is the highest point where price breaks structure so the change of character is indeed in fact here now this can be debatable okay we for, for argument's sake we're going to say that this actually broke structure so this actually ended up going up down and then broke structure okay that's what we're seeing right here so in this scenario this is the low. It's the most recent low of the higher high. The high after failed to break the high right here. Failed to break structure. So this is not the most recent lower high. This is not the, the... This for me here is not the change of character. This was actually the change of character. Clear that high. Clear that low. Pull back. Failed to break that high. Lower low. Pull back as you can see. Structure has changed to the downside. This is very, very important. So that is it guys. A change of character in literally 8 minutes. Um, with that being said, hopefully you gained value from this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.